Welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. This is Shannon, and today we're going to learn how to make a cool grunge button that you can use on any website. So to start, create a new image, approximately 300 by 300 pixels, just so it's a nice size button so we can resize it later on to any size that we want. Next, let's go ahead and grab our uh, elliptical marquee tool and hold down Shift and Alt and click and drag out for our circle. Now once we've done this, we need to go ahead and just select the color we want for our button and I'm gonna select this nice blue color here and I'm gonna create a new layer and fill that and that's the start of our button now I wanna go ahead and make the background white because I happen to know that my background on my website is going to be white we can change that later on of course as well that's why we're using separate layers now the next thing we need to do is load up our grunge brush so let's go ahead and do Alright, and what we're going to do is go ahead and right click and I already have this brush, grunge brush made for us to use, um, but you can download it off of our uh, website and also I'll drop a link below uh, this video in the, the description section, that way you guys can get it as well on YouTube, so uh, be sure to get that and under our erase tool I'm going to select that grunge brush and I'm going to go ahead and go to the center of the image and just play around with it a little bit and that looks pretty good there so and that's just a basic grunge cutout now from there I want to go ahead and create some text and I'm just gonna put tuts and I'm gonna center this now you can see here because there's it's a white background it doesn't really stand out too well so what we're gonna do is put a stroke on this make it the same color as this over here and that already looks a little bit better but what we want to do is we want to lighten it up just a little bit not much but just a little bit either that or darken it a little bit one of the two I prefer lightening it I think it looks a little bit better myself and then just put the stroke down to one or two which looks pretty good and that's how to make a quick grunge brush in Photoshop guys and you can change this text around to be anything you want from anything like touch to PSDs or logos or whatever you guys want so uh, we'll just end it and just put PFL in there and drop it in there rotate it around maybe make it a little bit bigger and that's good to go see you guys in the next lessons